We are in Borrego Springs this weekend. Our first stop here is the uh, Slot Canyon. It's about a mile. It's about a mile hike through the slot, but there is a loop that you can do, which would make it four miles. Um, I believe that's what we're actually going to do. All right, so that's the parking lot right there. There is a restroom, vault toilet, trailhead right there. It's a little narrow in here. It's pretty close to what Antelope Canyon looks like. Ah. Ooh, that's kind of scary. That rock just like it fell and got stuck right there. I know, that's so like, hmm. How much sun gets in here? See, 11.35 in the afternoon. Do you want to have me in the backpack? I think we're going to get them in the backpack. Okay, so it's considered the end of the slot. We're gonna go ahead and continue and do the loop, which is 4.3 miles according to the uh, GPX file that I have. And as you can see now, we are completely exposed to the sun. It is December and when I checked the temperature for today it was going to be in the mid or high 60s i can't check it right now because we have no service in the area look at the colors on those rocks right there in front of us nice we're about 40 percent into our four mile hike almost halfway to the half the little cave it's crazy how it looks like it's perfectly cut out all right from this point i believe it looks like we have a mile and a half left. Oh, looks like we're entering some more slots. Okay, so this trail went from super easy, walking in that wash down there, nice and flat, to having to trek our way up. Came up through a little canyon, little slot right there. Pretty much just rock climbed. All right, let's continue. I think we have half a mile, one, no, um, a mile and a half left. All right, made it out of the canyon. Now we're walking along this ridge line back to the trailhead. Hopefully we don't get any crazy surprises again. Okay, so we just made it back to the uh, trailhead for the uh, slot canyon here. Um, we did end up doing the four mile loop. We did get a little lost, uh, we got a little scared. But um, I, again, I had my GPX uh, file, so it helped us to get back on track. Um, we're gonna go get something to eat and then check into our Airbnb. And so we just pulled up to uh, Carmelitas where we're gonna eat. We would've got two crispy ground beef tacos and two crispy shredded beef tacos. We got a borrego uh, margarita that we're sharing. And Leon got that huge ass carne salad burrito. So we just finished eating at Carmelitas and our Airbnb was actually only a minute away. So this is actually it behind me. So this is what you see from the street. And walk around here. And this first casita right there is ours. So it's just a one bedroom, front entrance, 
these into the living room. Oh, we got a little Christmas tree up there. The bedroom. And the bathroom. A little walk in shower. And actual toilet is separated by a door. And a huge closet. Okay. Back into the living room. Which leads into the kitchen. Pretty much full size kitchen. And then the back entrance, which is where the carport is. All right, I'm gonna offload the car and get ourselves situated. Well, Leon already offloaded and bring everything in. I didn't even see this earlier. There we go. Look at that. Come out here and enjoy my glass of wine. This is really nice. Oh, I didn't even go outside too and show the um, we had a barbecue and little bar area and a fire pit as well. And here's our little fire pit area, firewood provided. I'm really liking this property. I guess I'll come in through the front door now. Um, and actually before I go inside, okay, so we really don't have any plans for the evening. We're probably just gonna um, stay in for the evening. Like I said, probably enjoy a little glass of wine here on the uh, deck area and then later on in the evening, uh, do a fire. We were supposed to go see the uh, sunset at Bond Point, but you need an all-wheel drive or 4x4 vehicle to get there. And I rented an all-wheel drive only to find out that they did not give me an all-wheel drive. So. We're, yeah, so we're just staying in for the evening and just actually gonna enjoy this Airbnb. It's one of the nicest ones that we've stayed at. And it is about that time. I'm just gonna sit out here. Enjoy my wine. So that hike actually ended up um, being a lot, the four miles. Um, I'd say two and a half were nice and easy because it was just like flat walking through the uh, Slot Canyon and the, the wash. Then afterwards we had to climb out of the canyon up onto the ridge and um, we actually did some rock climbing to get out of there. Then after that it was just kind of steady incline climbing up or hiking up the ridge so yeah that took its toll. That's it for right now. Alright so I just put together the charcuterie board. It's probably not the prettiest but did it really quick. So we just started the fire so we're heading outside now. Okay got the fire all started so we're just gonna sit here. Enjoy this fire and the charcuterie board with our wine. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna end it uh, and we'll pick up again tomorrow. Morning, so it's our last day here in uh, Borrego Springs. We're actually just checking out of our Airbnb right now. We're gonna go have breakfast and then after breakfast, we're gonna check out the, motor, the metal sculptures along uh, Borrego Springs Road. Breakfast at Kindle's Cafe, which is actually right next to Carmelita's restaurant where we ate yesterday. So. Okay, so for breakfast, I ordered the huevos de rancheros and a hot apple cider. And Leon got the Kendall's um, Supreme, which was what, hash browns and biscuit. like biscuit eggs covered with a, or biscuit covered with eggs and cheese. All right, time to eat. Okay, just finished up breakfast and we're gonna head down the street to check out our first metal sculpture. All right, so our first metal sculpture of the day is the stagecoach being pulled by horses. And it is directly across the street from Christmas Circle, which is the center of the town, I believe. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head off to the uh, next metal sculptures now. Okay, so we continue up uh, Borrego Springs Road and we came to our second spot. This one is off uh, the road a little bit. Came in and parked right there.
and our dirt stop. Oh, they're like grapevines. Workers putting, um, picking grapes. All right. Continuing back onto Borrego Springs Road. There's a lot of them that you can just see off the road, not actually have to stop. So I think that's what I'll do for the next few. I think that's a camel. Can't tell what that is. And a serpentine that actually stretches across the road. Let's go get a closer look. Alright, so the Jeep was our last 